It's like Christmas back here. Nice. So that's the precision cut five by five, four by four. Four by four. Four by four steel. 331 bucks worth of metal right there. Now we see Master Welder Bo setting up the Pro Mig 140. Here's one of my recent purchases, $91 in steel. Now what is that little thing right there? This should be the spool. Oh, the, the wire stuff goes in? For the bigger reels, if you get the bigger reel. Okay. Wire is that right there? Steel. Here we are after a little bit of trial and error, and by trial and error I mean one busted and replaced welding machine. We're back to a part where a point, I should say, where uh, we're near welding. And while I was at Lowe's, the car got sawed in half. It almost kind of looks like an optical illusion, but it's not, kids. It's real. Right now, Bo is working on ironing out some of the kinks of the welding machine. I guess the fresh out of the box machine needed some uh, tweaks and adjustments, and that's what we're doing right now. What are the settings on the front? Like, what is it? This is your wire feed speed. Yeah. And this is your arc setting. And how temperature? Do you how do you determine which one to set it to? Um, here's a cheat sheet right here. Oh. So this is your material thickness size wire you're using. Oh, okay. We are about to do our first test weld on this piece. This is the cross member that supported the transmission. We're just gonna make sure that the, uh, the wall electricity circuit thing, breaker, extension cord guy is not gonna bomb out too quick. We got gas pressure. We got wire feeding. We got metal, we got bare metal. You should. So you put that thing on for the bare metal. This is your ground. Now, would you say that's a dirty weld right there? Yeah, no, getting not enough gas. It'll work. Ooh. 